Hey friends and welcome. It is time for our What's New at the Doodlebug. Today is, what is today, Thursday the 30th, so it's the, the 3.30 edition um, at 4. So 3.30 for the date and at, at 4 for the time. So any, anyway, I am Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and I have got some new goodies to show you guys today. So today what I've got for you is I've got a new page kit. <coughs> I'm sorry new page kit, and I have um, some really cool new chipboard that just came in to show you guys, and then a few reorders as well, too. So all kinds of fun stuff. We are getting caught up here. We just got in everything we needed to finish up our March um, kit club, so we're working on those right now, too, so those should go all go out tomorrow. Leslie and I have been, um, she's been checking in orders like crazy today been getting them received, getting a few other things done. So we are getting caught up from both of us not being here on Monday. So we're just about there, which is super exciting. So I have great orders to show you today. First, I want to show you that page kit though. So I'm going to flip the camera around. All right. So this is a page kit that Sean made. It is so stinking cute. So she made a custom die cut here with her... There we go. Sorry, I think we had a lag. Someone just tried to call, so I apologize. And then my Siri is talking to me in my in my earphone, so it's it's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm getting so distracted. So anyway, page kit, focus, Hannah Marie. So she made this super cool little design cutout for this page kit. This page kit, you've got paper in here, you've got this custom cut out, and you also get the embroidery floss as well. Because then she went through and did little hand stitching on some of those little custom pieces that she cut. So such a super, super cute page. The kit is 15 and it does come with instructions as well. So what a fun little page kit in here. And you're going to have everything that you need minus the title because the title you'll want to just, you know, customize to your own. Hers is waiting because it's her cute little dog waiting for um, his human to get home from school. So, so, so cute. So, and this is using the Vicky Boot and Sweet Rush um, line. So, if you're shopping online, this is under New for March and it is listed as the Vicky Boot and um, Sugar Rest Page Kit. So, you can search for that as well. So, we have, I think, seven of those ready to go if anybody is wanting those. So, there's that. Um, we're just going to jump over here real quick before I get into some of the other stuff because they're sitting here. We did restock some album colors. We've got red, aqua, orange, and then we got in charcoal, black, and I never know if this is cobalt or navy. This one here is cobalt. So six new albums going up on the album just rack up there. Look how sad it looks. I mean, my rainbow is not a rainbow by any means. There's lots of gaps in my rainbow, so we needed to restock albums quickly. These are all D-Ring albums by We Are Memory Keepers. They are one of my favorite albums. Um, things that I like about this one, so it's got the stitching around the edge. It's a faux leather, and it also has the little corners, which helps to keep the corners nice whenever you're sliding it in and out on your shelf. It's got a nice deep D-ring on it as well. You want an orange one? You got it, Miss Debbie. It's got a nice D-ring. They do have that nice little inner lock. You can see that little tab in there that helps to hold them together as well, too. And then they com it comes with five page protectors in it. So that's going to get you 10 front and back. Okay? So new ones there. Oh, and it also has the little label on the front as well. These do not have a little photo window. Um, Doodlebug Designs makes some with a little window. So if you are looking for albums that have a little window, let me know. And then I can get you the colors that Doodlebug has. Okay. All right. We're going to jump on over. Let's go ahead and just finish the rest of our little reorder that we got in. So we've got new stuff in here and we've got reorder in here. So this is a restock for the chipboard frames for the 49 and Market. Uh, vintage artistry everywhere, that new travel line that they did. So really cute 
little black and white frames in there. They're so fun that they wouldn't even have to be used for travel. So those just came in. This is brand new. These are for Easter. So it says Easter wishes. And you've got two different dies in here. One that is going to cut out Easter wishes and then one that's going to do the shadow. So you can use just the Easter wishes or you can give it a shadow as well. That just came in. Another new one that we just got in. This one says Hoppy, Hoppy Easter. I like that one. No shadow on that one, just the Hoppy, Hoppy Easter. A restock here on the Sunflowers die. This goes with the stamps and also the washi tape that we carry. And oh, and stencil. So stamp, stencil, washi tape, and dies for this one. We had the rest of them. We were just missing that one. We have sold out of our sketch pads. So we replaced two different sketch pads. So this one here is just a Strathmore drawing pad. It's spiral bound. It does have a nice little perforation up there at the top so you can take your sketches out nice and clean. And you've got 50 sheets in here and the size is nine by 12 and it's 70 pound paper. I have Leslie pick this stuff out because Leslie is the, um, she's the artist and so she knows her paper. So she always picks out good paper for you guys. This one here is a Bristol paper. So it's got a vellum surface on it. So a nice smooth, real nice smooth surface. It's a nice heavy weight as well. This is a hundred pound. Again, it's nine by 12 and you've got 20 sheets in this one. This one here is gonna have a gum edge at the top. So that's how your papers will come out that way. I know a lot of people like to use this for their card making as well too. I watched that on some of those different Facebook groups and stuff. They'd like to use the Bristol vellum surface paper. Uh, next up, this is a restock for the eucalyptus line. This is the collage sheets for eucalyptus. This had sold out super, super quick. And I missed reordering it. That was my bad. I didn't even realize we sold out of it. Frames for the Inkwell line are back in stock. Lots of 49 and market in here. These new lines have been selling so crazy quick. The eucalyptus envelope bits and pieces. So you've got cute little envelopes in here. And then all these fun little journal spots that you can either put into the envelopes or just use on their own for journaling or little tuck behinds. Uh, what's next? Oh, more 49 to market in here. This one here is the, so they did those before Inkwell and Toast, right before, like late January, and then we did early March, so real close together, they did Blossom and Eucalyptus. So this is the Blossom 6x8 mini collection. So there are those papers. Uh, two new, or not two new, two restocks on our Phil Martin stamps. This is the Swirly Birthday Verses. This was our very first one we ever got in with Phil. It has sold great. And then somebody asked about other stamps that he had. And I didn't even realize there were other stamps. So then that started this huge craze around here. And we're finally getting caught up with all of them. So this one here is Fun Birthday Verses. Uh, let's see here. There's another, can there's, there's another candle on your cake of that. There is no doubt. It surely is a guarantee. It'll take longer to blow them out. But don't despair and don't you pout. We're always here to help you out. Have a ball on your birthday. Uh, happy birthday and stay amazing. Keep calm. It's your birthday again. Nice big stamp set. These are, um, they're $10.39 a piece. So it's a great deal on those stamp sets as well. Just some more archival ink in black. We were out of those. See what else is in here. Oh, we are restocking our embroidery thread. So as you saw on the page that Sean did, people are stitching on their pages like crazy right now. So we've got embroidery floss here for that. And then of course, all the new dies that are stitching dies now too. We've been carrying some embroidery thread for those. So this is a nice little multi-pack. You've got 12 different colors in here. So it gives you a good variety of colors. 
Uh, oh, our sand erasers. Yay. So we, um, last time I ordered so heavy on these, we haven't ran out, which, which is a good thing. But now we are out of sand eraser. So let's talk a little bit about a sand eraser. What a sand eraser does is if you're like me and you're working on a project, you get something on your fingers. Okay. But then your fingers get on your project and now you have ink on your paper. So this will lightly sand the surface of that project, of that paper, and it takes that ink, that marker off. Think of it like a magic eraser, but for paper. So a magic eraser just takes, just it's a real, 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 really light sandpaper, basically. And it just barely takes the surface, um, the top layer of that surface off, so the stain comes off. And that's exactly what this does. So this is great if you've done a card, and you've got a fingerprint on it, or you've got a little, you know, um, you, you misblended somewhere, or your ink pad kind of dropped and hit it. So this is perfect for that. And it also says that it works for marker as well, too. So this is a little sand eraser from Tombow. There we go. I'm trying to get the focus there for you. So we've got those back in stock. This is one of those things. I mean, it's less than four bucks and you're not going to use it all the time, but it's one of those tools. You're going to be so glad that you have it in your little toolkit for whenever you need it. So sand erasers are back in. Let's see what else. More 49 and market in here. Basically, this is just a 49 and market order. Uh, this one here is the Elena line. So with this line, we do still have bits and pieces of the line and as I always tell you guys I try to keep embellishments in until the paper is gone that way if you find this line kind of later or you need to fill some stuff in we still have what you need so I've got papers here as you see um, I just got the card kit back in so here are some little card samples that we've got there then we already had chipboard here the tag sets Looks like we've got one collection kit left with all the papers and then adding to the area to restock it. We're putting the laser elements back in stock. So we've got those. And then, like I said, we've also got the card kit coming back in stock too. So that line is um, kind of in limited quantity. This will probably be one of the last orders for this stuff because the paper is almost gone. Next, more 49 a market, and it is one of those super fun little foundation pages. Elena Lasers, you got it, Miss Cheryl. This one here is Foundation Pages A. Foundation Pages A makes this really cute little portfolio. And if you've done any of 49 and Market's books, I just happen to have one over here. I'm going to show you. This is the one that I did um, for my tranquility class a few weeks back. So this can just set right into one of these mini books. Now, it's not the same one, but it's kind of similar. So it just kind of flips open, and you can attach it right into these books. But, but... This is such a cute little mini book all on its own. You don't necessarily have to put it in one of these bigger albums. Let's say if you just have a smaller project. So these get used in the bigger books and they also get used on their own. So this one is a nice little flip out. It's got some different little waterfalls in there as well too. So that is what is in this one. The foundation pages A. And this is in white. It also comes in black, but we were out of the white. So we've got more of those in here. What other goodies are in here? Oh, we have a restock on our chit chat for the doodle bug over the rainbow line. Just a couple more items and we're going to get to all this new stuff here. Oh, these little stickers here are new. They're little horse stickers. They've got a little bit. It's not glitter, but it's like metallic silver accents. So we've got horse stickers in here. The B stickers, these are not new, but we do sell quite a few of these because they're like two, they're less than 250-ish for the whole sheet. So it's a super inexpensive sticker sheet and they are stinking cute. So these are just fun to even put on your envelopes if you're sending stuff out. 
Um, blank card bases. More card bases in. These are A2 and they're 80 pound. And last but not least, what else we got in here? Oh, we've got in a stays on black pad and a memento black pad. Got those in. So that is it for the reorder stuff. Now let's check out the new stuff. I'll put these back in the box. We've got cookie class back here tonight. So I'm trying to keep the tables pretty cleared because my cookie gal, um, and it's just going to be here shortly to set up. And that's why we've got, I've worked really hard. If you saw my pictures yesterday, whew, I, I tore this place up. So I'm not going to lie. Some of it, I just pushed back into the back room. You know how you do that. You, you clean and you organize and then you just, you can't do it anymore. And so it just goes back into the closet or it just goes back into the junk drawer. So I did do that a little bit, um, but I did sort and I got a lot of stuff organized back here. So that's always good. But now let's check out fun, fun, new stuff. So this is from a company called Scrapaholics. Isn't that just a perfect, perfect word even too? Scrapaholics. And this one here is like little ink stains or coffee stains, just fun circles and little chipboard. These are $3.39. Oh, yep, it does say coffee stains. Next up, look at these. Oh my gosh. Are these not just too, too cute? These here are beehives and bees. They're $2.89. You've got two little hives in there, and it looks like five bees. Now, how would you color these? So different things that you can do. You can take white gesso to these. You want to gesso them first. It helps your paint sit on there better, and it helps to make it opaque. Because if you just paint it straight on here, because you're going on that really porous brown um, chipboard, veneer, whatever they're using, it's going to change the color. So if you put just a little bit of white gesso on there, it gives it a nice surface to stick to, and you're going to get nice brighter colors. So you can gesso them and paint them. You can also use your embossing powders, friends, which is a great way to use your embossing powders that maybe have been hanging in the drawer for a while. And that's going to give this a beautiful finish and a nice shiny finish too. This one here is called Honey Jar Set. But yeah, I like to emboss these. So there's the Honey Jar Set. This one here is called Strawberries 2. Next, we've got this one here is called Grunge Collage. Just kind of a fun little collage, and it's got some flourishes in there, too. This is going to be really pretty for, like, one of those layering pages. Be really pretty on the cover of a mini album as well. So there's a grunge collage. That one is $3.89. We've got some more strawberries here. This is strawberries one. Let's see here. Next, oh, these are awesome. I love, love these. These are called hexagon pieces. Those are $5.99. And look at all those that you get in that one. That would be a really fun layout right there. Do a white piece of paper, do some fun mixed media in the background, just, you know, some, you know, paint splitching, whatever, um, some water coloring, color these, put them on as your background and your pictures, and you are done. Really, really fun. So hexagon pieces. Those are all hexagons there. More hexagons there. Next up, oh, this is a cute little mini album. This is called the File Folder Album, just $6.49. And you've got one, two, three, four tabs for sure in there. One, let's see if it says how many pieces in there. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So six of those. Then we've got the same thing, but it's called a tag album. 
So you wouldn't even have to do it as an album. You can just use these as fun little tags. $6.49 for all of those. These guys are so stinking cute and they're gonna be so fun to color as well. These are called bee gnomes. Look at that one. He's got the little, I don't even, the little, uh, I don't know what the spoon is called that you take the honey out with, like a little honeycomb spoon. Look at that little guy. It says honey. Fun are those. Dun, 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 dun. Next, we've got this little guy here. Such a fun little album. This is a strawberry album, $7.49 on that guy. So stinking cute. These would even just be good as embellishments on pages as well, too. You wouldn't even have to use this as an album. How fun is that? Next up, I'm trying to sort them a little bit here. This one here is called B Frame Set. So you can see those are loose in there. Fun little ones there. Let's see here. Got a few of the B frame sets sorting through. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, and I think that's it because then the last one then is the strawberry album again. So some fun little chipboards in there too. You love the chipboard. Awesome. Well, Marilyn, hopefully you found some in there that you love as well. All right. Well, I think that is it for today, friends. Um, so Chala is all checked in as well, too. And I showed that to you yesterday. So you can check out um, New for March. You can go to the Chala tab on our website, which is at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. So Chala got checked in today. Um, we got that put out since I showed it to you yesterday. And then these new orders here. And then we do have a little Lawn Fawn order um, that I'll probably show you tomorrow. That was just a little stuff because Lawn Fawn has a fun new program coming out that we are going to be a part of. Um, so I had to get an order in so we could do that as well with you guys. So I've got some fun stuff in there that I can't show you yet until Lawn Fawn releases it. So if you're a Lawn Fawn fan, um, get excited. They've got something something fun in the works for them and us. So I know. I'm so glad you finished all those woodies. I kept saying to myself, I want that and that and that. Oh, awesome, awesome. So yes, they are all, all done. So Teresa, just have at it. Whichever ones you love, you let us know. Or like I said, they should be on the new for March tab as well if you just, you know, prefer to do a cart online. So, all right, everybody. Well, I think I think that's it. So I've got a few things that I got to get done before I head out of here. And like I said, we've got cookie class tonight. So if you're coming in for that cookie decorating class, we'll see you here around six. Um, with that being said, if you are local-ish, um, Leslie will be here tonight until about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. So if you're needing to stop in and shop late, we will be open late tonight. So, all right, everybody, thank you so much for popping in and hanging out with me for a little bit and checking out the new stuff. Um, and then uh, we, we're kind of caught up on order. So we'll just have to see what comes in tomorrow and what I come up with for you guys. And tomorrow is Friday. This week flew by. I have no idea where the week went. Well, you know, Monday I was out for my, my appointment and then Tuesday was a short day with a baseball game. And then yesterday I just tore the whole store up. So that's where my week went. That's why it went so quick. So, okay. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.